give us the detail. What kind of flexibility is China actually looking for? Well, what we're hearing out of Beijing is that the Chinese are in discussions internally there about how they can get some kind of flexibility from the U.S., in particular on its purchase commitments, the purchase commitments that they made to, to buy $200 billion in additional uh, U.S. goods over the next two years. Uh, if the economy in China is slowing, demand for those goods is going to slow along with them. And there is a clause in the trade deal they signed uh, last month that allows them to kind of renegotiate things if uh, a natural disaster happens. This looks pretty close to uh, something that could trigger that clause. How will the president react to this, do you think, Sean? It's, that's a really interesting question, really hard to say, but this is one of the big uh, wins, economic wins, that he is eager to, to crow about uh, in the State of the Union this week. And uh, here there were already big questions about whether or not these purchase commitments were unrealistic. Now that you've got the, the Chinese economy racked by this uh, uh, coronavirus crisis, then uh, you know, they're even more unrealistic. And that's going to raise some big questions uh, about the impact on the U.S. economy economy here and uh, how much of that boost that he is hoping uh, the economy would get out of this deal and the, the benefits not only in terms of direct purchases but the sentiment uh, how that will get hit so it you know it undermines the president's case in some ways at an important time